Although police insist that there is no connection between the Argento shooting and the execution-style murder of hired assassin Amadeus Eskenazi this morning, informed sources have told this station that Eskenazi's death may have occurred in retaliation for the attempt on Argento. Authorities are currently investigating Eskenazi's background and employment history for clues. This is Chris Looks Thomas, like you're in the clear. interrupted by a hail of bullets. While driving north on the Harbor Freeway, an unidentified gunman drove alongside their car and began firing. When we talked to the Clay family, they were still very shaken by the attack. Notorious B-movie producer Julius Lazar made Los Angeles headlines today at an invitation-only party held at his lavish multi-million dollar Malibu estate. Lazar, best known for exploitation spoofs like Pink Thunder, told assembled guests he will make the first X-rated film to feature major Hollywood stars. Although not confirmed by their representatives, Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise, and Eddie Murphy are said to be among those already secured for the $20 million production. Major studios, which have shunned the X rating since Midnight Cowboy, are said to have reacted favorably to the idea. Noted one executive from Paramount, if Nicholson does it, we'll distribute. Lazar himself was not available for comment. A man described as evil incarnate, a man called the fiend of the century. And because of this attempted prison break, Beck would have to serve additional time to an already lengthy sentence. When he is returned to the federal prison, Beck will be placed in the area of the facility. On stage. Now, these are desperate times. Absolutely. All right. We must be courageous. No, just, just, just wait a second here. Um, this must be why I, Joe never went on. Uh, oh. I got two kids to support. Count me in. All right, all right, bring the house lights down. That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. This dilapidated room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. Here's an old trench coat. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. There is a bulge in the pocket of the trench coat. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced. Whatever are you on about home so early in the morning? By all means. Mr. Holmes. A young woman has been brutally murdered outside the Regency Theatre in Oxford Street. The evidence here suggests that Jack the Ripper has emerged from under his rock in Whitechapel and struck savagely in Mayfair. Mr. Uh, Hard, I'm Dr. Sylvanus, the head surgeon of Reconstruction. Try to sit up. The uh, sedative we've just given you should be taking effect in a moment. Your face was damaged very badly, Mr. Hard. Luckily, the medics who brought you in were able to salvage a holographic ID from your ruined PIC. We weren't able to get in touch with any of your emergency contacts. And unless we start reconstruction immediately, there will be irreparable nerve damage and scarring. You understand what I've said to you? Nurse. Increase the anesthesia and run an interface to the automated surgeon. Yes, doctor. His face is in too many pieces for me to attempt unassisted reconstruction. I don't want to damage the fine nerves. Everything will be just fine.
all the Aegis's fall I could buy on the black market. If you need more, you're gonna have to go someplace else. These are mine, do you hear me? Help! I'm heaven! You know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! <laughs> Behold my floating masterpiece, the Egg Carrier! But it pales in comparison to the power of Chaos! And you, until we meet again, my friends! <laughs> Where's Tim? Well, who are you? Dogs. I'm a captain of the SS Deanna. If you're Elliot, you must be with Tim. Tim is what? Dead? I don't know. Is that Easter's answer? You know, Tim once told me he had a high-level Easter member as a friend. <laughs> what a joke. Obviously, you're going to need good help, like me. I can't let a wimp like you go alone. Whatever. <laughs> God damn, son of a bitch. This lab immediately achieved the top revenue. Destroyer. Shadow the final destroyer. Shadow the final destroyer. Shadow the final destroyer. For the sake of creation, all must be from chaos unto order. Shadow the final destroyer. Shadow the final destroyer. John, it's Kenny. Kenny Sinclair. Things are going great. In fact, that's why I'm calling. I'm the new warden at the Mesa Grande prison here in Vegas. They're throwing a bash for me next week, and I'd like you to come out here for it. I know about your problems out there, and I thought a change of scenery would help. It's a beaut, as prisons go. I'm still in shock that they made me warden. Damn. All right, I'm going to the main control room to deal with this. John, secure every door you can on your way back to the party. I'll meet up with you later. I'm sorry, I can't help you much here. Now, if the tombs were across the ocean, then I'd be the guy to talk to. <laughs> Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now, let me see the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. Got any threes? What do you want, Swamp Thing? Can't you see we're busy? Maybe you should run along, Froggy, before something nasty happens to you. Oh, so you want to mess up my card game? Oh, goody. It's slashing time. No! <laughs> Why are you running? I will not hurt you. Don't be silly. Blood? Yuck! She is lost in these catacombs. There were a few vampires on my mother's side. Help me find her, please. I get as lost here as you do. This frog is on a quest to find the princess. She'll show you the way to the outside world. And now, ladies and Miss China, 
Welcome to the first ever Martian surface tour, sponsored tonight by the ingenious inventor, Dr. Breckenridge. The newest version of my world-famous reflective space telescope. This brilliant invention reflects space itself, creating what's called a symmetrical space. If we project an image of Mars onto this beach, we can travel to the Martian surface without ever leaving the Earth. Ah, uh, don't let them discourage you, Jim. Aim towards Mars! Now start the symmetric space projection! Go! Go, Reflective Space Telescope! Tonight, we take back the red sands of Mars! You knew it was me all along, didn't you? Hold on, you guys. It's no trick. And besides, I plan on paying you. You'll be rewarded handsomely for helping me. As soon as I conquer the world, I will pay you! Hmm. The least you could have done is shut the door. But that's all I could get in the little time I had. Don't act like a stranger. Thanks to you, I'm drunk in broad daylight. No doubt it was Sakazaki. A witness saw him carrying a paper bag and walking hurriedly past the obelisk on the day it got blasted. Then he starts spending all this money like there's no tomorrow and then just disappears. And where do you think he went? Over to Masamune's factory. Most likely he got attracted to the booze there. What do you say? If you don't want to go, I can arrange someone to go for you. Whatever. I think the chances are pretty good that he won't kill you in cold blood. Uh -huh. It has long been said that we, the underground exiles who reside here, have demons in our hearts. Are we not human beings? Are we not even worthy of living as human beings? Those who lose their lives here are all thrown into this ravine. Is it the only meaning our lives and existence have? Oh, are you welcoming me into the next life? Can you forgive me for failing to protect the seer? Dispose. Aren't they nice? <laughs> Very hardy. Just water them and they'll bloom every year. Hold on. You look... Haven't I seen you somewhere before? There. Oh, yes. Very good choice. I'm terribly sorry, sir. You became angry at him for both of us. So I bowed to him and offered him an apology for both of us. Now I've reached my limit. As long as he is here, my shop is... Domato? You are... fire! Oh... I can't say that. Say, what's the matter? Why the long face? Ah, little slugger, is that it? There's so many reasons! Hey, buddy, you've got rising sun matches! Good stop! It's all footwork! Visit the crime scene a hundred times! The criminal always returns to the crime scene. Hey, wait! You bastard! You little shit! Why did you do that? Stupid little jerk! How do you like this? Come on! Asshole dickhead! Spoiled little brat! You're going to pay for this! I am Lord Greymare of Wolfen. What news have you? Lord Berogrim is a malodorous cretin and completely disgusts me. Still, if Davenmore has brought harm to my son, I will join Berogrim in his crusade against the House of Davenmore. Well done. Yes, it is I, Goldrin. I'm sorry I've had to mislead you a bit, but it 
was necessary to lure Bogar and the foul demon lord into the trap. Of course, Bogar has never been much of a real threat, but a soul devourer is another matter altogether. If you don't have any place to go, come with us. We have everything at our house. Nice perfumes and a cute little dog. We can watch movies together. All of us together. Being good to each other till the end. Now, come along. <laughs> Send it in. Once the subject is conscious, we'll start the installation. As of now, I'm the one in charge. Are you finally awake? We're going to install the pattern systems via your optical and auditory nerves. Try to keep your mind void of thought. Doing so will significantly reduce the amount of pain. Install configuration program. Gather up the data and evacuate immediately. You, dispose of the subject. I hold you personally responsible for bringing that thing here. And with this latest development... Sorry for breaking my promise. The government has agreed with the United States and China that Kanda Tokyo is to be temporarily placed under martial law. The district will be treated as a test site for various experimental administrations under designated... There's not much you can do up here, Jack. See if you can give the guard a hand on deck. Did you ever wonder about your visions? Bad dreams are never that accurate. You are different from the rest of your race, Jack. Your father could see it. Suicide was his escape from the truth. I was the transferred mind. Not entirely. You are not of our kind. But neither are you completely human. Do you think you can beat me? 